fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. So hey guys, today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about side imaging and um, what it does. But first of all, I did two videos on 2D, one on down scan, and this is the fourth video, which would be side imaging. It, side imaging was designed for showing structure, binding structure on the side imaging. I could also see how hard the bottom is. I could see trees laying in the water. I could see muddy banks. I could see hard rock banks. It defines all that for you. So 2D, which is one of the first videos I did, if you're in 10 feet of water, you're only looking at about a three and a half foot cone angle. And then I did one on down imaging. In 10 feet of water, you're looking at 19 feet. So there's a lot of difference in coverage there. 2D, if I ran over a tree, you would see a blob. In 2D, in down scan, you would actually see a picture of the tree. So when we get into side imaging, it's a lot different because it covers so much area. So you're gonna be able to see schools of bait fish. You're gonna see fish, but they show up as tiny specks. And then you're gonna see uh, gravel beds. You're gonna see trees. You're gonna see all kinds of stuff that's under the water that you can't see. And it actually opens up a whole new picture because when I'm looking for rocks that fish are sitting on, I could go graph and mark it as I'll show you. Mark it and keep going, mark it, keep going. Finding all these spots and then turn around and go back and fish them. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how that side scanning works. This is a good picture right here. This is your side imaging. There's a ball school bait right there. There's fish right here, cruising right along the edge of the brake line. So I'm gonna show you some of the settings on side imaging. It's pretty easy to set them up. I would just run it in full auto until you get familiar with it. And then probably the only other thing you're gonna to have to do is once in a while is, is just your depth. And I'll show you how to do that. So come on over and I'm gonna show you. So if you're running Lawrence units, you're gonna notice up on the top where it says source. So basically I have three HDS 12s in here and they all talk to each other. Meaning that, you know, I could see this image what I'm seeing on here on any of the units. So make sure that this source says this unit, because if you push it, you see how it gives me these other two. Those are the other two units that I have up in front and also my live target. So you want to make sure you have it on this unit. We're going to go down the range. You want to leave that in automatic frequency. You're going to have a choice of either 800 or 455. 4, 455 looks wider. 800 looks a little bit narrower, but the picture is a lot clearer. Always remember your frequency, as I told you guys before on 2D and down scan, the higher the frequency, the less interference. So I've always chosen to use the higher one so I get less interference. I look a little narrower, but it get a clear picture. So 800 kilohertz. Then we're gonna go to your contrast. Leave it on auto. You could adjust it on um, days that are dimmer or not as no sunshine, you got cloud cover, then you could release it off of auto and adjust it. One of the things like if you had on auto and I adjusted it, it's gonna, after about 10 seconds, it's gonna go back and adjust it like it thinks it will. So put it on auto. And the next one you got is palette. Palette is just for every angler that looks, you might be colorblind or whatever. So they give you a list of different colors that you can use. I suggest you, once you find the one that you could see the best, then I would always go to that color. So that's your palette. All it does is adjust the colors. Advanced. So you see this one on the bottom, it says flip flop. So on that transducer, when you stick that transducer on the back of your boat, one end where the cord comes out, that's the front. So if you have it pointed that the wire toward the front of your boat when you mount it, then you're gonna leave it like this. But if you put it on the bottom with the cord facing the back of the boat, then you have to flip it. So you flip it, you see that orange and it flips. So you could go by a bridge piling or something or a dock that's on the right side and see if it's correct on the right or left. But if you have the, the wire in the front pointing toward the front of your boat, leave it unchecked. Perfect. So 
surface clarity, you can have a choice of low, medium, and high. On side scan, I don't think it's going to affect your picture any because you're actually scanning off to the side. So your surface clutter is going to be right here. So I would just leave it. I leave mine on low all the time. I never change it. You can experiment with it, but remember, filters always reduce your picture. So when anytime you filter something, you're not going to have as much gain. So I just leave that on low and we're going to go to more options on the bottom here. So you can, at any time, so like if I saw something that I wanted to see, I hit stop sonar, you see stopped across the screen, picture freezes, you could do whatever you want. If I wanted to put a waypoint, I would just touch the spot like that, hit the flag twice and it'll mark that spot. So I want to clear the cursor back, go back to more options. So it's to release it. So if you see that stop, you got to go in here and uncheck it and get it off. Right now I'm viewing left to right, but if I was going down a bank and the docks were all on the right side, I would just strictly put everything to the right. So I'm only video on the right. If I hit left, it's only looking to the left of the boat. If I'm going somewhere and I want to see the whole picture, I put it on left and right. So this is the boat here. This is the right. I'm looking out 200 feet. This is the left. I'm looking out 200 feet and I'm in 43 feet of water. That's how wide this thing looks. And we're going to go back range lines. If you put range lines in, it puts the lines down. So you see that's 50, 100, 150 and 200. So you know where they are. So that's the only things that you could do on your side imaging. Those are all the adjustments that you can make. Pretty much just run it in automatic and you'll get a good picture. So these two buttons, remember I got it in auto. So you see these two here. So this is going to open my window wider and this is going to close it. So when you, ha as soon as I touch one, this is going to go off of auto. So say I wanted to look in this water column here because I could see some fish here or something. So I hit here and what happens, it's see how it's opening up right here. That's the water column. So I'm seeing more. So I could actually see, see all those bait fish right here. I can see them. I get a clear view of it. But you also, you put it in manual range. So I'm only looking out 60 feet instead of 120. So I'm opening and expanding it. I'm seeing more of the water column here. So that's these two buttons here. Then if you wanted to go back, you just go there and hit auto and it'll go back to the auto and its original depth. And we're going to go out on the water now and I'm going to show you guys actually how this thing really works. So we, here we are, we're going to do a little demonstrating on, down, on side imaging. So we're going along, this center white piece is the boat. So that's the boat. This is where you see the black right here. It's that depth right there at 22 feet that the transducer is hitting the bottom and continues to scan out. So we're in 22 feet of water. We're actually looking at 100 feet on each side of the boat. And as you can see, this is a very vivid picture. It's really clear. Anything you see in white like this, it's a harder surface. So it's probably gravel. You get in here over on this side where it's muddy, you could also see the logs laying down on the brake right there. So one of the things about this, you're going to see like a tree branch right there. So if I'm going along like this and I wanted to, I could touch it and hit this waypoint. It saves that spot. And I can continue to keep going on. Then I could go back and put it on GPS and I could go back to that side. But you could definitely see like the rock piles here. You're going to see this is a more gravel side. This side is more mud. That line right there is a cable. All this little specks right here, those are all fish. On your side scanning, it's not made to actually use it to find fish. It's made to find structure. But you do see fish on the side here. And as I was demonstrating, you see this button? I'm putting it in a manual range. Now I'm opening up because I want to look in the water column. So I don't care what's looking out off to the side. I want to see what's in that water column right there. So I just zoom out like this. Well, I'll actually zoom in and it'll open it up. So now I'm seeing where the transducer on the back of the boat right here, shooting out, it hits the bottom right here at 35 feet. So I'm actually looking at 
bait fish and fish that are off to the side in the water column. As you look here, when we're going along, I'm actually alongside a marina here. These are cables. You could actually see like it's uh, formed the wires that are holding the docks down. But those are cable. So everything on this side scanning now is actually really, really clear. I mean, I can see trees. I can see the root systems on the tree. It's amazing what you can see with this. So now if I wanted to look a little further inside here, I'm going to bring the the unit back in and then it's going to start scanning again so I'm actually looking further out but if there was fish sitting over here on these rocks over here you probably couldn't see them because it's just a little tiny specks all right you could actually see the bigger fish they'll create like a shadow on the side anything that you're going to graft here you will see a shadow whenever you're running your side scan you want to be going as slow as the boat will go in gear so you just dump it in gear just so you're idling along real slow and you'll get a perfect picture the side scanning is so easy to operate because it's probably ran in 99 percent in automatic mode and you should get a perfect picture so remember side scanning as slow as the boat will go and it's mainly used for structure but you can use it to i see fish i see bait fish on it all the time and fish so basically when I'm using side scan is when I'm looking for structure. Say if I was looking for bass on trees underwater or stumps, I would turn that side scan on because it looks at such a wide area. Remember in 10 feet of water I'm looking at 70 feet around the boat so the deeper you go the wider it looks. So once you get dialed in and um, you watch all the videos I did, I did it on 2D, I did it on down scan. This will be the side imaging, which will be the fourth one. The next to come will be live target and 360. So see you later. Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today